Lee, well, Jesse's uh, getting a bit of a uh, chop stream mad in here, finish off his nose cane, and once that's done, that goes on the trailer over here, um, and we'll go over and see what Ray's up to. See, it's real strong. A race one who welds them together. It's 150 by 50 um, by 2 mil RHS. Uh, we use a big component sus suspension underneath it. Ray welds it all up and then we send it off to the powder coating. This is how the shells come in from the fiberglasses. They actually come in uh, fully finished, all the walls inside. Then we get the lid and we also get the doors from the fiberglass. First job is Murray puts this aluminium base on that Ray's welded up over there. He drills some holes into the um, water tank down the bottom here, puts some fittings into it, and uh, he's just about to hook up the hoses and do the pressure testing on it because we pressure test all these tanks before they actually go to the next assembly. Now this here gets then flipped over, goes onto the trolley, then goes to mark to get the drawers fitted. As you can see, this is one of the lids here. That's come from the fiberglasses. That's actually um, not very thick fiberglass and it's 20 millimeters of foam and then fiberglass again. So it keeps the weight down, but gives it stiffness. Now that will get the vinyl floor put onto it and the rubber seals put onto it and then up on the racking it'll go ready to get fitted to one of the campers. Then we got one of the doors over here. That actually just gets all trimmed up. Um, he puts a hinge on it and um, goes around and seals all the edges. Then it's ready to get fitted to one of the campers also and we'll show you one of them getting fitted up later. Here they've uh, just flipped this one over. Now it's going to go into the assembly line. Uh, Mark will then start putting all the door runners and all that in. But first and most important thing, the customer's name goes on there. Uh, so this is going to the Bennetts down in Victoria. Uh, you'll get all the draw slides and all that fitted up to it. And Mark's the one who does all that. So he's just doing a bit of finishing off here on this other one. Then he'll move on to this one here. Um, they're just setting up the drawers so they run nice and smooth and they're all fiberglass so they're all exactly the same on each one as you can see he's just sliding that one in and out there now so what's involved there he's he put these uh, 32 to 32 runners on here 25 to 25 these um, little plastic runners on the side so it just glides nice and smooth and then, um, then these drawers will get taken out, go over to the carpeting and um, get put up on the shelf to go back into this same camper. And then he also fits all the doors here as well. Mark's a bit camera shy, he keeps backing away here. <laughs> around here, Jess is doing all the wiring in the thing. He's uh, fitted the battery tray and he's fitting the Red Arc system into it now. We use the Red Arc BMS 1230 uh, Life Pro Series and that does uh, lithium batteries as well if the customer um, decides to option up for lithium batteries. Um, once Jess has done all his wiring here, um, that's a complete wiring right round to the kitchen around the back here. All the switch panel gets all fitted. Yeah, once once uh, Jess is finished with all the wiring in this section here, then uh, it goes to Murray, which Murray's already been working on this one. He, he fits all the Webasto cabin heating and uh, diesel hot water system and the fan heater in the shower. So he does all the plumbing on this side of thing and he gets it all, he runs it, gets a diesel burner up to temperature and the glycol up to 70 degrees and runs it through the system and make sure there's no leaks there. So this, this camper here, they fitted the doors to last night. Um, as you've seen over there, they were actually getting um, all prepared over there. They get all the hinge and all that fitted up. Now they've been fitted late this afternoon. Now they're, now they're into the stage of fitting the gas struts onto them. 
Uh, here's Craig just, just putting the last couple of screws up onto the rear door. The side door's already done. And then this camper here will go over and get the tent fitted. Here's Brad here, he's just uh, got this kitchen from the fiberglasses. Um, that's in two separate pieces, so what's involved here, he's got to actually glue this top part onto the bottom part, cut all the holes here for the actual stove to go in and out, and then you've got the flip down uh, lid here, which he'll actually attach all the hinges to. Then he actually fits it all to the actual kitchen area here. As you can see it all here, it's all hinging and everything. It's got the fridge in, it's got all the sliders in. We have the carpet, uh, carpet in come in, they'll carpet all the internals and all that. And then it goes on to the tent area to actually get the tent all fitted. So this camper here has had the lid fitted last night as well, the, the main top part. It gets all clamped down, screwed down, urethane hinge on and everything. Stickers have been put on already. So that now will then move across over to the next area. Get the last little bits of the carpeting all done, then over to get the tent fitted. Canvas side of the Travelander, the canvas all gets cut down at um, door of the sails. Then it comes here and then it's narved down the end here, she sews it all up. We use wax converters canvas, um, I find it's the best canvas around. And as you can see, these are all the wall kits for the uh, campers here. We've got finished tents in the bags here, ready to go downstairs and get fitted to the campers there. Now they're all for, they're labelled uh, like dual cab or single cab, so we know which one they go on. But that's a full kit there. And as you'll see, we'll come down here, you'll see the machines that we use here. This one here is a long arm, long arm single stitch. Um, but that one doesn't get used too much. And these are all the cut rolls of uh, tents here. So that's how they come from the actual laser cutters. That, that's all the sides here for one camper and that's all the roof roof panels there. And then uh, she gets them out. She knows exactly where everything is. I don't know how she does it, but um, there's that many different pieces there all cut. But they're all cut exactly the same because it's all done by a, um, a plotter cutter. A big machine that just runs around and cuts it all and labels it all too and puts uh, seam lines on it so she knows where to stitch. Uh, we've got the twin, twin needle machine here that does um, not very much of the stitching, um, but there's a few places where that is needed, the twin needle um, machine. Then we come down here, now it's working away on the side panel. This one here is a side panel for one of the wall kits, uh, for the small awning. And uh, as you can see, there's, there's a lot involved in the canvas. I don't know how she does it. Once that's all done, we go down and fit it all onto the campus. Um, that's easy. Uh, Rick's usually the man who does all the carpeting of the drawers, but he does a casual here. Um, he comes in a couple of days just to do the carpeting. And as you can see, he was here yesterday and he's finished off this drawer here. And now that'll go over onto the shelving over here to be uh, fitted into the camper right at the very last minute. Then we'll come over here. We've got um, one just just had the tent fitted here, so it actually comes over here to get the tent fitting. They so lay out the um, shade cloth on the floor, mount the tent on, and as you'll see, Fabian's one over here. He's um, just pushing off, uh, screwing the tent down here. How's that, baby? Yeah. So, yep. so then they, once they screw all the tent down to the floor, they go around and put all the bungee loops on. Then it does get waxed. We actually uh, go around and wax a lot of the seams up on the roof uh, because of the customers coming and picking them up from here, and then they go holiday and straight away. Lucky bugger, though. Anyway, this is pretty much the finished product. Once it leaves here, we just go through, fit all the things to it, uh, all the odds and ends, like torches and the uh, legs and all that. But as you can see, we'll walk around this and it's all finished off, all lighting inside, LED lighting, uh, pug lighting inside as well. And it gets all wiped down, polished all after that. It goes out the front there, then gets washed, ready, ready for delivery. 
we'll just have a walk around this. Um, we just go around and check, it, check all the bungee cords. We actually give them a pull, make sure they're not going to pop off for one thing. Then um, we go around. The step treads, which are done by sea gear, they get fitted at the very last minute too, so we aren't walking on them. And, and um, the electrician comes in, or uh, Jess, the does all electrical, he comes in and finishes off all the lighting. Around here we've got the kitchen. That's all, that's all finished off. Ready, ready to go out the door. So metho cooker's been put in there. Fridge has been all done. There, there's the Evercool fridge, 114 litre. It's all ready to go. All the all the um, red arc has been all charged up, made sure that it's all um, operational. We actually run the fridges too, so we've got about two degrees into the fridge area. And we make sure the batteries are topped up before they go out the door. We've got a wine rack here too, just only in the single cab ones. And around the other side here. As you can see, this, one, this one's been all, all packed, ready to go to the customer. Uh, all these being polished and everything. Um, all the stuff, all the accessories have been put into it. There is a checklist on the front, which the boys go along and check everything. Shower rails and the awnings and the covers. That's just shower curtain there. And, and then down in here, we've got all the ratchet straps ready to go, the pegs and the battery system and, and the red arc, all, all ready to go out the door. This one is actually getting delivered, delivered today. We can close that down. Here we are with the finished trailer that um, Ray has done all the welding on it. It's been to the powder coat, it's come back, actually got a nose cone fitted to it. This one here is one of our stock trailers um, for ourselves. It's, we've fitted it with the airbag suspension. I like the airbag suspension, it uh, rides a lot smoother and when you come to unlevel ground for set up a camper you can actually raise and lower your suspension to level your camper up. And that's all done by vehicle components there. And uh, this just needs a little bit of finishing off in here. And uh, we'll walk around the other side and you'll get the uh, suspension and all that. We use the DA35 coupling um, for articulation. Brilliant pitch this one. And we've got the handbrake there and some plug here. Um, we, we do whatever socket is needed for the vehicle. Jockey wheel, we actually make the jockey wheel removable because I hate the pull, down, pull pin ones. I've seen too many of them collapse. So we remove the jockey wheel, put it into the nose cone here. And as you can see, there's just amples of storage in this thing. And each one. Massive amount of storage. They're just little bits and pieces left over from the fit out of the airbags. And then you come around here, we, run, we put stainless steel guards on the thing. Uh, we run the mud terrain tyres uh, on it. And as you can see, this one here, all the airbag suspension and all that, done by vehicle components. And spare wheels mounted up under the rear here. We can actually fit another water tank up under the front there as well. And that's another 110 litre up under the front. A stainless steel taillight board as well. We've got a cut out at the, at the rear there for the um, uh, bikes or anything like that. And we recommend the Sewell um, Swing Away bike rack for that as well. We run massive bearings in the thing. We run the um, big parallel bearings for vehicle components. That way you won't have a problem with uh, out on the road doing set of bearings on the side of the road, which I don't think anyone wants to do. That's the finished product. Here we are, just uh, last preparation before it goes out the door. Like I said, this one's getting uh, delivered to the customer today. They're, they're driving up from Victoria, or oh, quarter of New South Wales, Victoria. They're coming up today, just after lunch, to get the handover of this one. Kristen here giving her a tub before it goes to the customer. So here we are, this is Ray's area. He's uh, just doing some thick welding there for the uh, roof bows. And as you can see the trailer chassis there. We're on dirt floor here only because we find it a little bit better uh, for the welding and the grinding side of things. 
and as we pan around, um, there's a couple of um, job fairs that come in, we've just got to do service on them, and then and you can see where we've gone over to the build site. Uh, we've had a camper open here, we've been fitting a, the a small awning and the full wall kit. And then we'll walk down the other side here. Get a good view from up here of uh, everything all going going on down in the, all the different stages. Uh, this is the store, and where all the parts come into. So once um, the parts come in from the couriers, all the paperwork gets put here. Through through to here, we have um, a couple of casuals have come in um, and they just put everything away in its place, um, put all the paperwork in its place and then all the uh, rest of the paperwork then goes through to the office over there. As you can see, all, there's that many different parts involved in the build of the camper. Uh, this is all the kitchen stuff here, um, which has been made at um, a, a, a Southeast stainless and uh, then it goes off to the powder coaters and it comes back here and just put on the shelf here for when it goes out into the camper. The workers can come in here just grab the um, bits that they need and go out and fit it to the camper. Uh, Evercool also supply all the fridges. Uh, they come in here they just all bubble wrapped and then as soon as Brad's ready to fit that in he comes in grabs it and goes and fits it to the camper. Down here we've got all the nuts and bolts and more powder coating. Uh, we've got the metho cookers down in here. Uh, fire extinguishers, all the water fittings all here. And um, as we as we go down we've got all the Webasto. Uh, we've pretty well used up all the stuff now for the Webasto, but there's some bits and pieces left there. And then over here we've got all the nuts and bolts. Um, anything from like M4 right up to your M20s. Um, so the boys come in here, they grab all what they need. Uh, all the tent, tent pegs and everything, poles all down the bottom there. Then we go into the gas struts, all the handles and all that as well in here. All the stickers around here, they all get uh, cut uh, outside of here. And all the sea decking all gets cut outside of here as well. And then we fit them all to the camper. Over here we've got all the electrical, the actuators here from uh, Linark, they're all uh, ready to go into the camper. Uh, we use a wiring harness which come, come from Harnex, they, um, they, they do everything, all the labelling, everything and then we just grab that as a kit, go out and fit it to the camper. Um, many years ago this is how we used to do it, grab the wires, pull each wire through, a um, lot better this way. It's all in one piece and it's all labelled. Uh, and then we've got all everything all in, in there as well, which is all the odds and ends, remote controls down the bottom, right, you know, right through 240, the LED lighting, bed reading lamps, and some plugs up the top there. And then we go to the famous old Red Arc. Um, that's the, the BMS 1230 that we use. Um, now that there is, um, I, I find the best in its class. It does your 240 car and solar. Um, and, uh, and then we've got the, uh, oh, that's an old charger, that one, but we've got the inverters, the uh, projector inverters, or the red arc inverters as well. And that's it.